Good morning from Missoula, Montana. Check this out, there's snow outside. You're gonna be like, Melissa, have you never seen snow? I mean, of course I have. I lived in Canada, but yesterday I was in uh, shorts and a t-shirt back in California, and today there's snow and I'm ill-prepared for this. I thought that, I don't know, I knew it was gonna be cold, I just didn't expect snow yet. But here we are, there's snow outside. And I do not have the right shoes for this. Do you think my Converse is, uh, will work? Yeah, probably not, no. Anyway, I'm out here in Montana because uh, I'm working with Bermuda Triangle. This show based out in San, uh, not San Diego, I'm from San Diego, this show based out in Montana, um, well, it's a beer drinking show. So we're gonna be checking out some breweries. I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes because they're more equipped and professional when it comes to filming shit. And I have my little camera here. So I wanna take you behind the scenes of that and kind of show you around. We're not staying in Missoula. Um, we were here last night. I got in around like five o'clock, changed real quick, went to get dinner, then went to karaoke. If I find any snaps from last night, I'll probably insert them here somewhere. If not, actually, it's probably better you don't see it. It was quite embarrassing. It was a lot of fun. Um, what else? That's pretty much what last night was. Came back to my hotel, passed out, woke up, and now we're getting ready to go to Helena. Ugh. And now we're going to go drive to another part of Montana. It's quite comfy. Honestly, if you told me when I first started my Instagram account about craft beer that someone was gonna fly me out to Montana to drink beer and talk beer, I would have been like, <laughs> impossible. But here we are, here we are. Thank you for all of you that follow me on Instagram that have made this possible for me. Literally coming out to Montana to drink beer and talk about it pretty awesome I'm pretty I'm really lucky and I am so so stoked for this uh, there's gonna be a lot of beer in my near future so I'll take you along um, it's gotta get ready or finish getting ready and packing my stuff and head out Ooh. outside to that to that I'm so excited okay I'll see you in a bit This is the real, this is the real like winter Montana driving experience. White knuckles, maybe an elk jumps in front of you. <laughs> and not jinxing it at all. Okay, <laughs> I'm not scared at all. No, no. This is good TV, come on, this is drama. This is uh, suspense. <laughs> all right guys, so we're driving to Helena right now and I just want to introduce you to everyone around. This is Kate. Hey guys. This is Hunter. Hey. This is Kelly. Hi guys. And this is me, scared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it took forever to get here because the roads were so bad, but we just checked into the Fairmont uh, Hot Springs. My brain is kind of fried and I haven't done anything yet, but oof, I can get rid of this hat now. I'm indoors. There have been some changes in plans. Um, initially, when they contacted me for this episode of Bermuda Triangle, it was supposed to highlight the females in the industry, like uh, female brewers. Um, we were gonna check out some places with female brewers, but apparently I don't represent what women in craft beer should represent, so they didn't wanna work with us, me, and decided to pull out like last minute. Um, which is interesting, I have a lot of thoughts on that. I'm not really sure what kind of woman should be representing women in beer. Mm, I don't know. I didn't know that I had to be a certain person, certain type of person, or I don't know, I don't know. And uh, as someone who works in the beer industry, it's really disheartening to, you know, be just outcasted by other women in the industry um for those of you that don't know i don't just 
drink beer and post it on Instagram. I do work for a brewery in California. I do marketing. Um, yeah, and for me, what I loved about craft beer was the community more than the beer itself. Like I always thought craft beer, it's all about the community. It's all about collaborating with each other, um, empowering each other, learning from each other. And it turns out that some people don't feel the same way. So there's that. Anyway, I'm just going to freshen up a little bit and uh, head down to the lobby in a little bit to meet up with everyone else. Um, I don't know, this is a really cool opportunity for me and I get to hang out in Montana and drink beer, check out new breweries and take you guys along with me. So if some people don't think that I represent women well in this industry, that's their problem, man. I don't know what what they want women who drink beer to look like or act like or present themselves as, but I'm here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, totally, cool. All right, cool. We just want to see the camera. to make sure that yeah. we Yeah. Oh, sweet. And then, we can probably grab the Setting up right now. It's so you probably wouldn't pick it up. Way better than my little camera. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute little, uh, have, um, vlogging camera. Have you ever wore a lav before, a lav mic? Nope. No? Okay. Nope. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just got to Lewis and Clark Brewing. Check this out. I had to get some coffee. This Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know. Vanilla milk and coffee. Can. It's been a long day. We've been driving a lot. We've been driving a lot. I just, I just took a nap. That's why I can't even form a sentence. But here we are. Thanks, dude. You're This is a cool little tap room. This place is way bigger than I thought it would be. This place is huge. It is. Cool. Just one lift. Okay, gotcha. This is the first trip to Montana, so nice. I think it's welcoming as possible. Sure. Yeah. What are you drinking? Uh, Martin. What was your name? Mike. Mike, and you're one of the brewers here, right? One of the brewers yeah. here, yeah. Cool. Yep. Nice. We're just doing like a little tour of the brewery. This equipment looks brand spanking new. All this stuff is less than a year old. Yeah. We built this building uh, right in, I think we, we were brewing in here actually before construction was completely finished over here. But yeah, this is a Jamie Northwest four barrel, I'm sorry, four vessel 60 barrel brew house. I didn't film the first beer I got, but it was the pumpkin ale, and they served it with sugar and cinnamon brim. It was really, really, really good. And now I am having the stout, and we're setting up to film. That one is 36. Bright. Oh, looking right into the light is really, really bright and blinding. Mm. This is really good as well. So the pumpkin ale, like usually, it can be a little too spiced. This one is just really easy to drink. Like I drank this really quickly. Um, and it was I kind of want to try the pumpkin with the stout, like mix the two.
lovely pair. Do you want to tell us a little bit more? This is Sean, the brewmaster here at Lewis Hello. Park. Hello. <laughs> uh, Prickly Pear Pale Ale is probably, cheers, our, uh, it's our second best selling beer of uh, what we produce. Uh, it's 100% Cascade hops in it and uh, there's a bit of uh, Prickly Pear cap that's in there as well. Yeah, for people who don't know what Prickly Pear it is, yeah. it's cactus. Uh, I also want to show everyone your shirt. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. Never heard of her. <laughs> Sorry if you're a Kanye fan. Lemmy's the man. That's all there is to be said. <laughs> yeah, so Sean's been hanging out with us, filming the show, and showing us around, telling us about the beer. I'm really, really full. I've had like so much pizza and I had so much beer. Um, thanks for having us here. Well, thank Cheers you. Cheers again. Yeah, I'm, I'm like so excited I got to come here. Awesome. We're so excited.